Hello, Internet, and welcome back to some more Sidereal Midnight Plays XCOM 2. Last time, we basically lost the, uh, the first run. I mean, it wasn't completely over, but we lost all of our high-ranking soldiers. We lost most of our weapons and items, so... It's, and like, they were starting to get, the aliens were starting to get upgraded, so it was pretty much over. And I know this isn't technically Iron Man, because I have yet to find a way to enable Iron Man in this one. Like, I checked the options before, and I'll check them one more time just to, just to be safe. Oh wait, is it enable autosave? No, that, that can't be it because Iron Man is always autosave. Yeah. Thus far, I've not been able to find Iron Man, but I'm still gonna treat this like it is an Iron Man game because it would feel weird not to play XCOM that way. So, we're gonna try again. Older and wiser, or at least older. Older and bolder, oh, hello. This is new. What? I didn't get this message when I first started. I mean, you can check the first episode. I did not get this message when I first started. Maybe it's because I put the tutorial on? Okay, well, Iron Man it is, still. I'm not gonna bother watching this again. You know what's going on. Center to strike a big target, something that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building all these years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. Hmm, and this is actually a new opening mission. Darn, they might have even done a new cutscene. Uh, I'm sorry if I skipped a cutscene that is actually new. Let me know in the comments if I missed something important. But yeah, this is a new opening mission. It was like, it was rescuing me the first time and now it's sabotaged, I'm assuming, this giant statue. Oh, and check you out. This lady on the left here, you've got good looks. Hey, and Jim Stoic's in this one. So we get to start out with Jim Stoic, that's good. I mean, he'll probably die, but that's just life. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Okay. And we don't have a time limit. So I've, I'm learning to become cautious again. Like, we don't need to play it fast. So we're just not gonna play it fast. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Menace one five, you're near the target position. We're just gonna play it safe. We're gonna get everybody set up behind cover. Okay, so that's Terra. All right. Because I feel like that was a lot of my problems. The last game is that I just played too fast and loose. So, like, the aliens would- I'd rev I'd trigger aliens that I didn't need to trigger. And this still has the old XCOM 1 sensibilities of they won't do anything until they see you. Like, none of the aliens communicate with each other. So I think I just need to play it more cautiously overall. Rotate the camera. Okay, so you can get in there without Orders being seen. Moving out. Also, I should definitely take advantage of these ambush turns as much as I can. Because the opportunity to get like the drop on, on them, get like the surprise overwatch before they get into cover is a lot more useful, I think, than I gave it credit for. On the move. Trigger the ambush. They spotted us. 
All right, so he's over there now. And all the advent people trigger and all my overwatches trigger. Nice. Nice. Almost took him out before they could do anything. Oh. But I triggered another advent group when I did that. Oh well. At least I got three kills on the first, on the first, uh, on the opening salvo, so to speak. I'll take that. Ah, uh, now Jim Stoics marks for death. But that mark doesn't make them more accurate, so that's good. Though they should get the same, um, what is it, like, negative 20 aim bonus that, that we get for trying to shoot through hardcover. Or, uh, full cover, I believe is the term. So that guy's on Overwatch. I could just blow him up. And I'm sorely tempted to do so. Or I could try and pop his overwatch by going up here. I mean, we only have these three aliens triggered. So I think we might be able to do that. Let's see if I can pop this guy's overwatch with somebody who's far away. Excellent, that is exactly what I was hoping for. And it didn't even trigger the car to start exploding, which is great news. 49, 48, 46. Nah, what, what am I even doing? I just want to throw this this uh, frag grenade over here. Kill him. He did, he wouldn't have dropped any loot anyway, because usually they, they make a show of saying, Oh no, you destroyed all the loot. All right, 67%. I'll take it. Ah, uh, terrible. Terrible miss. So, there's the officer. Hmm. Where do I want you? I think I'll get Reginald here behind this lamppost. Oh, now you're flanking. Because, of course, that makes perfect sense. Uh. Yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> they always sound, like, That's so blasé about the fact that they just missed a shot that may cost the, the life of one of their fellow soldiers. They're just like, ah, oh, darn. Ah, oh, well, I'll get him next time. Oh, my God, he went right through the car window. Ah, uh, but now he's just glitching through it. That's unfortunate. That was really cool. He shot him, like, right through the, the car window. He tried to Dukes of Hazard over the car, but he couldn't. I can't move. Yeah, and there, if there are other aliens, they don't know a thing about what is going on over here, so that's good. Ah, uh, sweet. I can get Jim Stoic right up here. Run him up here and plant the explosive. Some nice X4, which I only just now realized the meaning of. Neutralize any remaining hostile contacts. Orders confirmed. Moving out. All right, so this is just a straight kill mission. I like that they give like an entirely new opening mission to start off with when you when you're not doing the tutorial anymore Got it covered. that is very nice Heading there now. I have a 28% chance no thank you I'll just take my overwatch I will just take my overwatch if he wants to fight me he can come out and do it himself or more likely try and get Jim Stoic because he's on low health 
Oh, crap. All right, I'm assuming that didn't flank the much the same way that my shots that should flank don't. So I will take it. Good copy. Moving on target. And get a nice point blank shot right in his face. Beautiful. No longer a threat. I'm running low on ammo. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Status confirmed. The squad is clear. Detonating charges. Okay, for a second there, I'm like, wait, Reginald's right on that statue. Like, you. I, sp I put so much effort into keeping him alive and you just murdered him. That's nice. That's a nice intro mission. Actually, just like getting right into the thick of it. Right from the get go. And I mean, they had more forces than us, but their forces got, got ambushed. Yeah, I really. Not making use of ambush and triggering a bunch of aliens way too quickly was my downfall last time. Hopefully I will not make the same mistakes. Okay, I can see that you want to do something. There we go. Continue to exceed expectations. Yeah. Working with limited resources. Impressive, Commander. Jim's gravely wounded, but he'll be back on his feet in no time. Demolitions experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery. Yep, I know what they provide. Yeah, I'll skip over all this stuff because it's episode what 13 now. We know what's going on. All right, we got a sharpshooter. So Reginald's our sharpshooter. What are you? Oh yeah, it makes sense that you're a ranger. I, I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna make use of like melee abilities. Cause they have that awkward thing where they trigger aliens, which I'm not very fond of. Plus 16 will. I'm not sure who I'm gonna give that to. I may save it for a while. The ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. All right, and that took almost no time at all, so I'm just gonna keep doing this for a little while. Yep, I know all about you, doctor, whatever your name is. I know everything but your name. And another thing that I think we need to do early is we need to get started on like weapons and armor tech a lot faster than I did like it's it's the same problem like I said it from the very beginning research is king but I didn't even heed my own advice yeah I'll, I'll get started on this right now that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available we'll begin work immediately I'll send word when a complete report is available yeah, and because I don't have the tutorial available, I actually have access to all of the spaces from the very beginning Commander, instead of just some of them. Yep, I'm aware. And there you are, and your drones can do some stuff, but I don't really care. Just need to get you started on... the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear up space for construction first. Was this... I don't think this was open on the uh the tutorial i think this was you had to start everything yourself so that's nice let's build a guerrilla tactic school because you need those officer perks yo facility right away commander i'll send word when it's up and running yeah you could criticize me probably by like saying that i should build a laboratory instead but I'm guessing the laboratory needs to be manned by scientists, and we do not have scientists. I wonder if this is what it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. It's so much worse than it was in the old days, you have no idea. And hopefully you never will. We'll shield your young mind. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. 
The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Okay, and that cutscene's new, too. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. Yep, let's do that. We'll start our scans on the surrounding area. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Yeah, I think, judging by the way that they're doing cutscenes for this, like, the game really expected, expects you to die on that first run. Which is understandable. It's a it's a thing that it's very reasonable to expect. Oh my god, that'll take so long. Get module weapons research started. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Yeah, they really expect you to die that first time. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be Do it. investigating. New course. Oh, and we're in America this time. So we start in a different continent Commander, each time. Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Oh, and we can we can research mag weapons, but it'll take like a month. Let's not do that. I assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. By the time it gets down to two weeks, though, we are going to research the ever-loving hell out of mag weapons. Hell, the second we get access to a black market, we're probably going to start. But yeah, we start in a new, on a new continent each time, in a new like zone each time. That's really nice. That's a nice bit of procedural generation. I like that a lot. As the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Operation War Witch. Let's do it. Setting course for the Western U.S. Precinct. Yeah, and they've got voice work for all of that. The stuff I never would have known if I had just, if I just won on my first playthrough. You see, it was all planned, you see. Let's see, can we build medkits? Yep. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. So, one thing I want to test out is flashbangs. I feel like, I feel like I underrated those. Smoke grenade? That, I don't really, I don't really like it. I didn't like it in Xenonauts. I didn't like it in XCOM Enemy Unknown. I still don't like it now. Like, the the equal opportunity defense bonus just is not something I'm interested in having. And let's see, who do I want to have what? I think I'll give the rookie the flashbang grenade. And I will give our specialist the med kit. And then I think we'll just, we'll get right into it. Because, I mean, we don't need to start training up our rookies. We'll have the, uh, the guerrilla training school for that. And these people will probably get wounded as well. And they won't. And they'll need time to recover. So, we'll, we'll get rookies trained. I think it's best to get everyone else promoted as quickly as possible. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Begin the mission. progress on their latest operation. Intel suggests Advent is moving a secure data vault through this area on one of their trains, and the information it's carrying is critical to the aliens' efforts. We're moving to secure the train. Eliminate all hostile contacts and recover the assets. So I'm guessing this gives us Intel. I've never actually succeeded on one of these supply missions before, but that sounds like something that's that's an intel. Oh wait, no, it's recover weapon schematics. 
So does that give us access to a weapon that we would not otherwise have access to? Now I'm curious. There's the, uh, the thing. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay, so this is, this is a timed affair. So, Reggie is just gonna get right there. What I feel like I need to to like reteach myself is that just because there's a time limit doesn't mean that I can afford to take unnecessary risks. Still gotta play it just as safe. Because if I just up and trigger the aliens, I will be in bad positions. I can see, I can see a line of, oh, the lamp. The lamp has line of sight. Got it covered. Though, I do need to also remember that I can't trigger. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful, if they detect us, Things will only get worse. I can't trigger aliens until they know I'm here. Go, go, go. I'm still not gonna get Reggie up there on this turn because there might be a turret Although up there. They bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. With an even greater psionic potential. All right. Now I'm going to get Reggie up here. Or actually, okay, so we can tell if there's line of sight up here. So, good copy. Moving on target. If we get Reggie up here, he will not be seen. Perfect. Which means we can probably position him up here, get a good sniper vantage point. Hmm. We only have seven turns to get there, but on the same token, we have seven turns to get there. So I want to play this carefully. Also, I don't feel confident in setting up an ambush yet. Wait, what? We're spotted. Oh, god damn it. So there's line of sight, but then they can also just see you if you're running by them. Ah, oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. I should I I should have known that. Soldier gains one free use of run and gun. I remember you. A failed hack will result in all enemies gaining a defense and mobility boost. Okay. I do want to make this hack attempt. But I would rather do it when I've actually, like, got a setup ready. So there's the advent guy over there. Uh, 29%? That's terrible odds. That's affirmative. Can I slash him? Oh, no, I probably could have if I hadn't moved him like that. Oh, well. Let's throw a grenade. Fire in the hole. See if that makes things a bit easier. There, now his cover is blown. Now is your chance. All right, I got you in real close, and you still can't shoot him because, of course, you can't. Or you still don't have good shots. That's a nice chunk of damage, though. What is your chance? Eh, not worth it. 
In fact, I think I'll save that hack and just go for the shot, though. All the same. I'll destroy that stop sign in your face. I'm not even sure if that was a stop sign. Still, eat it, sectoid. Alright. He's gonna do his panic blast. Mind spin? Okay. Oh, where are you going? All right, give me a window to shoot at you through. That's good. Oh God, the car exploded. It didn't even look like it was gonna explode. So let's see. I honestly want Reggie to have the highest ground advantage that he can. I mean, he's got a 61% chance stamp from up there. Yeah, just shoot him in the face. Hostile neutralized. Got something over here. Okay. I don't, I'm not sure if the hack ends the turn or not. So I believe we are about to science. Bypassing security. We'll go up to the lamppost. And perform the hack. One day this will work. That day is not today, though. And are you... Is your turn over? Or do you still have one more action? You still have one more action. Perfect. It's a terrible action as far as, like, actually taking that guy and shooting him in the face is concerned. But it's an action. Still want to play it safe, though. Don't want to trigger aliens this turn because I'll be busy dealing with uh, this advent jerk. I can get this guy pretty much like right up in his, right up in his face. I have a lot of I have a lot of Irish folk in this run. Wait, what? Oh, you son of a... Fine. Be that way. I'll just slice him in half with my sword and then sheath it. Like nothing happened. Enemy down. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. Oh, that's bad. So you... Can't get to the loot. I need somebody to get. I need somebody to go out there and get that loot. There we go. Understood. You can do it. Up. Oh. Illyrium core, excellent. Sure yeah, the music suddenly changed, and I knew he'd triggered an alien. I knew you triggered an alien, my boy. I won't deal with you yet. Let's see if we can get this hit with the sniper rifle. Perfect. Pop it, pop it out of the chamber. Just murder that guy. Then I want you to go behind this dumpster. On the target. Okay, we don't see any other aliens. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Will do, boss. But first things first. Okay, you can't use your sword move. So I will get you up here. And put you on the watch. Her, I just want her to get like as far away from where the reinforcements are coming in as possible. I'll try and have Reggie deal with them. All right, I don't even have a scarf. It's just a bunch of advent like goons. Advent forces 
One of them even landed in the... I don't know, what is that? A power transformer? Nice shot. Shut wide. And what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to bring that guy back to life. Get out of my head! No, actually, that's a lot worse. Okay. So, can I move now, then? Yes, I can. Good. Cleave him in twain. Beautiful. So, let's see. I'll have you... I really want that sectoid to be flanked. And he still isn't, somehow. Oh, because he's behind this very small pillar. Of course. Cover mechanics. Closing on target position now. Alright. Really, though? I will straight up throw this frag grenade down there. If I can hit him without hitting my own people, which I think I can. Yep, there we go. Hopefully he doesn't fall through the roof. Now you... I just want you... To get as far up as possible. And then get on Overwatch. That's unfortunate. And that's... I guess how that went. Perfect help! aim. Help! Someone help! Less than perfect aim. Sorry, I almost couldn't hear you over how heavily she was breathing. Position confirmed. Reloaded. Now let's see if I can get you. Oh yes, I can. Headed there now. Get Reggie up there. Put him on pistol overwatch. Nah, high ground advantage, my friend. Alright, and there's the next goon. Just being on Overwatch, that's fine. Put him down. Ah, so close. Okay, good. Now then... You, my boy, need to get closer to the thing. We've got advert here. That's not great. I'm just gonna flashbang that. I think there's a way. Nah, there there isn't. There's not a way I can hit both. <sighs> escape to exit. It is escape to exit. One day I'll remember, that day is not today. Get some. Nailed him. Okay, where can I put you where you will actually live? 
Changing to position. Right, the Overwatch. All right, fine. Just heal yourself. Easy now, soldier. I mean, Colin over there is probably not alive anymore, but it's always nice to believe. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it, buddy. I know you can do it. Alright. You don't have as much faith, but that's fine. I still believe in you. See? You just murdered that guy. He earned a promotion, but he didn't lose the, uh, the panic. You guys just keep trying. Right. It'll work one of these days. Menace one five, you're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Yeah, I'm sorry. My uh, my squad's a bunch of pansies. On the move. I mean, what are you gonna do? I can. Oh my god, the container is so is so healthy though. What about with the pistol? Can I can I hit him with the pistol? Oh, I can hit him real easy with the pistol. Do it. Oh, that's the worst miss. Yep, I'm well aware, but they just won't get up on the spot with you. So you're still fine. I'm pinned down here. Oh, no, he's getting on the same level as you. Damn it. Target package has been destroyed. We're not going to recover anything from this site. Lock down the AO and eliminate all remaining hostiles. God damn panic modifiers. I would have gotten it this time. I could have finally succeeded on a supplies based mission. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. But Colin here just had to panic. He had to have his moment. Why does that cause you to run through the fire? What about that? Why are you running through the fire? You have no need to run through the fire. I don't know why he has defensive bonuses in particular. Not even close. Like I'm fine with them having defensive I'm bonuses. But I don't understand why that guy has defensive bonuses. Enemy style. Like I get the um I get that they have defensive bonuses from the hacking, but why does only he have them and nobody else? Uh, all right, you had to you had to hit one eventually. Don't have fallen through the floor. Good job. Moving on target location. 
All right, let's try and get this to stick. Nope. Just a bunch of foliage of trees that don't look like they could have been in this climate. Colin, I'm giving you a new nickname after this. You better be ready. It's down. All right, let's just see if the pistol will get the kill. Nope. Oh well, he's not in a position where he can do major damage unless he's very lucky. Oh, now he's in a position where he can do major damage even if he's not lucky. That all you, got? you really shouldn't be provoking them. Alright, and let's just have a lovely chat across the way about how this pistol is going to shoot him in the face. There we go. Right down into the building. Hostile neutralized. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. The current area of operation is secure. One day, one of these trains will be mine. They're playing coy with me right now, but I will acquire one of the things in these trains. One day. I need to give people more will first. Otherwise, they'll just panic if a leaf falls near them. Which is about as common as somebody dying in this game, so they really should be used to it. Oh, wait, what? Power facilities provide a plus 10 increase to power capacity when built atop a power coil? Excuse me? I didn't know there were there were synergy bonuses in this version. Don't go springing that on me now. Of all the things you could have told me in the tutorial, that was one you didn't mention. Still return fire, always return fire. Return fire is love, return fire is life. And this guy's another ranger. Cool. So we got an Illyrium core, we got some sectoid corpses, and some advent trooper corpses. Oh, it's off to prime time. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. Yep. Hello, Commander. Commander. I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. And we have low supplies. Yep, I'm aware. So is there... Yeah, exposed power coils. Alright, so... 
These are where I want to build my power generator things. Does alien machinery also give a synergy bonus of some kind? Maybe. Oh well, we'll find out at some point. So alien biotech's researching. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to be sure. Commander, we have a lead on the alien yep. black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. Yeah, I want to avoid this Black Sight mission until we have either weapons or armor enough to outfit at least one squad. That's what I want. But before we end the episode, I'm going to do I'm going to do one thing. And that is where is Colin? There you are. Sir, I have a nickname for you. Uh, I can't give him one. Alright. Well, then you get a new first name. There you go. Coward Gallagher. In honor of your service, I have named you as befitting your station. <laughs> Some people are known for their legendary acts of bravery. He will always be known for his legendary act of cowardice. All right. That will do it for this episode of the first run, though. Or the second run. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you like what you saw. Always appreciated. And I will see you next time.